Hello everyone, I am Kajal Naidu and this is an assignment for OPV 122 where we have to do a badge activity based on creating a brain model and going over the aspects of the brain. The brain model that I will create will be based of how a puzzle looks like. This is so that if the model had to be used for learning purposes, learners can put the brain together and visually see how the brain is built. What you will need to make a puzzle brain model is a cardboard box and a pencil, colorful paper, toothpicks, scissors and a box cutter, a black marker and glue. This is the process of making my own brain model. I took a cardboard box and sketched a brain. Once I finish the sketch, I then outline the drawing with a black marker. I then used scissors to cut the brain out and then used box cutters to cut the parts of the brain to create a puzzle. I place the toothpicks in the holes of the cardboard box so that when you have to build the brain model puzzle, the toothpicks help to keep the pieces together. Once the structure of the brain was complete, I then began to decorate the cardboard box model by using a variety of color paper and stuck them on by using glue and cutting off the paper that remained. I then used a black marker to outline the model to give it more detail.
What I learned during this creative process of making the brain is that I was able to let my inner creativity out. I realized that I am much stronger on the right side of my brain than the left brain due to the fact I work better when expressing creativity rather than statistically. By letting your brain find solutions that had to be thought out the box, I allowed myself to think of many ways to create the brain with just using recycling items. I learned that the brain actually is capable of thinking ways of turning an impossible to a possible, allowing us to process our thoughts much easier. The questions that I had that related to the brain and own functioning of it is that I question if scientists struggle to understand art due to the fact that they use their left side of their brain much more than their right side of their brain. This falls down to the questioning if one side of the brain is neglected, does this impact a person greatly? I question if people with bipolar disorders have two different types of brains whenever they switch personalities, such as having one personality where the left side of their brain is stronger, but their other personality will be the opposite, such as their right side of their brain being stronger. One aspect that I found interesting in terms of training my own brain is that When creating a routine and letting that routine be done every day without stopping or being interrupted, it turns to the point where I don't think about doing it. I just do it without questioning it anymore.